Hey guys, Dr. Linda Kramer. Okay, <clears throat> today is Tarot Day. The last few weeks I've been, for some reason, a movie has come to me that I've got to use as part of my reading to give us a message. I honestly thought yesterday was that movie. I had a friend come over and we were discussing the new Thor movie. So I researched it and there it was it's now on DVD. So I drove up to the shop and I bought the new Thor Love and Thunder. And I thought, there's a message in this movie. I've got to watch it. And there's something for me for tomorrow, for Sunday, today, my, my readings. Okay? Wrong. Went to bed last night and I woke up. There's an email there from Netflix. New movie you might be interested in, Linda. Matrix Resurrection. So my friend and I have just watched it. Have you watched it? Do you know what I'm going to be talking about today? Neo got unplugged from the system in the first couple of Matrix. And in this one, they've plugged him back in, making him think that he's insane. And it was all a fabric of, um, fabrication of his imagination because he's actually a designer of computer programs. He makes a video game about the Matrix. So he thinks he's going insane. Now, isn't that exactly what is happening with us right now? One card, please, for the woes of us on the white loving light of the universe. I'm just connecting with my cards because she just said go with these little lovey-dovey cards first again. So I thought, hmm, there's the message, right? One card, please. But it wasn't the message. The message wasn't until the last five minutes of the show, considering it was a two and a half hour movie. <laughs> oh, I just got the card. Okay, now I'm going to do the Anna Hatter from Louise Benton range. The, the link is below in the description if you do want to go and buy her cards, okay? Let's throw that over there. All right, one card for all of us on the right side of this universal white loving um, energy at this point. One card, please. So... What was that one line that I just heard at the end of that movie? If you've watched it, you'll know. It's where, um, oh God, I call him the doctor because he's the psychiatrist of Neo, but he's something else, he's in the credits as, but he says this one line about the sheeple. Sheeple do not want to be woken up because one, they like to be controlled and two, they get scared really easy. So they live in fear. Now, isn't that happening right now around the world? How many times have I tried to ram it down someone's throat about stuff? If you know what I'm talking about. And they don't listen, they won't pay attention, they won't go and research it themselves because they like being controlled, like in this movie, The Matrix. Huh. So this may be the message for today, that we are now past that point. Those that are on the white love inside of the universal spiritual war here and those on the other side. Those who are asleep that we can't wake up. Okay, now I saw a meme this year, this week and it's just come into my head and the meme actually said spirituality or awakening is not just waking up to what they're doing to us like in the matrix. It's actually... A spiritual awakening where we realize that this three-dimensional world does not exist hello we're talking the matrix here right isn't it funny how I've only just watched that only I finished watching it only half an hour ago so it's still fresh in my head one card oh there it is it's actually just popped and then it went back in I'm gonna take that one. Oh, wait till you see what I just pulled out ha 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 sense of humor okay so now, oh go do my ruins now. Now, how do I get told that? I was reaching then for my tarot deck, which is over here. And it was like, don't do that. Go this side. Okay, so ruin next. So I've got my little lovey-dovey card. Then I've got Louise Benton's card. Now I'm getting out of ruin. So let's see what the ruin says for today. One ruin stone, please, that the whole, all of us on the right side of this loving wall needs to hear. Oh, it's this little one. I've had to before, haven't I? Huh. Oh. Now, I don't know if you heard that, but one just fell out of the bag as well. Maybe they want me to do two. Where'd the other one go? 
Oh, here he is. I'm going to actually go with two today. Oh, two Huron stones. Hello. Okay, so put him there. Okay, no, he goes there. Okay, so now I need one more card. Okay, let's go then. Tarot cards this time. One card, please. Oh, that's all right. I'm going to see this one. Let's see this week. Okay, one card, please. Okay, so my suggestion, guys, there's been a lot of flack. People didn't like the fourth um, Matrix movie. I reckon those are the people who are still asleep. They, oh, now look at that. It's just flicked it out. So that's my card. Oh, okay. Huh. Okay, put these ones away. Yeah, so I believe that this movie, The Matrix, there is something in there. I'm going to have to watch it again when I'm alone because there were certain lines in there. You know, that you got to listen for the lines that they say really quickly in between other lines, okay? So if you have watched The Matrix and you know some of the lines that are important to us, please comment them below, okay? All right, so my little lovey-dovey card, let's get into today's reading. Love would smile at every given opportunity so as to spread joy. Now, one thing about this movie that I just watched, all of those in The Matrix, <laughs> are you ready? We're on lower vibrations. And there is a point about an hour and a half in, so it's about half an hour from the end, where Neo is getting chased by <laughs> everybody again. And the guy that's controlling the Matrix, you know, the guy that, um, um, like, sitting there with his computer, he says, there's lower vibrations coming. Huh. I sat there and I looked at my friend and I said, you've got to be joking. The lower vibrations are coming. So they even put that in there, okay? Now, as we all know, those on lower vibrations, they're the sheeple. They're the ones who probably won't wake up at this point. Um, the ones on lower vibrations, they're the ones who are judging, accusing, being sarcastic. They're the ones sniggering at me right now because I've got a few of those, including certain family members. Um... They just can't realize because they haven't, they're still on that blue pill. <laughs> Here we go with the blue pill and the red pill. I took my red pill years ago to all this. So <laughs> I'm looking at the Louise Benton card. Are you ready for what this one is? It says the veil. <laughs> I just looked down and I saw a veil because that's what it is. They're still, they're, they're shrouded. They can't see the reality for their own. Um, controlling mechanism of those who are controlling them so let's have a look at this card one uh, sorry our bodies are formed by the elements of earth spirits merges spirit merges with form and we are birthed immersed into matter and earth's embrace memory of what came before quickly fades there is something in our heart that yearns to join here again to love and to learn. Again, we partake in this sensual play and the veil between worlds is held at bay. Suspending memory so we may engage in experiences that will en enable transcendence and grace. And when our story here is complete, we breathe our last breath and feel our last heartbeat. Body fades and soul aligns. And in this dims in the luminous light, earthly lessons in our soul enshrined, love's never lost, just out of time. Our soul family shines as stars in the night, not beginning or end, we are entwined. Fear not your passing, but embrace this life, these precious moments, let your soul light shine. I honour and cherish the gift of life. Have you noticed it? Okay, I've just got to blow my nose, guys. Sorry. I was nearly going to sneeze there. You don't want to hear me sneeze, okay? Because I just don't ever do one. Okay. I was driving up to the shop yesterday to buy um, Thor. And something funny happened. I only drive, it's only about three kilometres up to the group of shops where there's heaps of shops. In that three kilometres, um, only about a kilometre outside of my house, I'm stuck behind a car where the, the driver 
just isn't driving. He puts his hazard lights on, you know, both blinkers, and he pulls over into the lane. And I thought, well, I hope he's all right. You know, he's, he had his phone out. I thought, okay, he's safe. I'm not going to stop because I'm a single woman. You don't get into a car and you don't engage with single men in their cars, right? <laughs> okay. And then we got to a set, um, second set of lights up near all the shops. And again, I'm behind a car that didn't start. He just sat there in traffic. And the guy was like, I thought, what? It's like he was in a time slip where he just wasn't moving because I went I, I I went around him and I looked at him to see he was all right and he's just he was so vacant then coming home from the shop um my friend rang and said hey I'm coming over I'll be there at this time I said mate you can't believe the cars I'm seeing and she said uh funny thing I'm driving now and I've just seen two myself where people are just not driving they're just stopped in their car she said what is it and I said is it mechanical or is it actually the person the sheeple are switching off in the matrix <laughs> funny I just watched that because the veil for us now is disappearing so be aware of people that you're interacting with guys because um, I'm noticing it let's see how it goes okay now we've got two ruin stones today oh let's just intermingle these guys and see where they're at so I'm just looking for the first one. Okay. Oh, here it is. All right, so the first one I've got is uh, this guy. And here he is here. So I've got him on the wrong side. I've got to carry him that way. Okay, so he's there. Okay, there he is. So it's this one here. Okay, let's have a look. This is Dargaz. Dargaz. Daybreak. Oh, now what's another word for daybreak? New day coming. New things are happening, right? Let's just see what this does. Um, daybreak. The son of the night god thought to ride a chariot each dawn to bring in the day. The last letter of the elder Futhark ruins. As such, this ruin is the symbol of endings and beginnings. So we've got three dot points for this one. A signal to go ahead and embrace something new. Second one, a good omen for new beginnings. Oh, personal, business, financial, romantic and spiritual. Yay. And the third one, also good time to acquire a new skill or a sign that you will overcome or cure a health issue. A health issue. Now, I just did a video on my YouTube. It's called How I Healed My Brain Tumor. I'm actually going to do a part two of that today because I left some important bits out. So I hope that you guys go and watch part one because part two is going to have more information in there as well. All right. Now I want to do this other ruin as well. So let's just go and have a look at this one. Let me just find him first so I know that I'm holding him right. Oh, yes, it's this one. Oh, this is an interesting one. So here he is, this one here, guys. Whoops, you can't see him because I've got him the other way around. Whoops, there he is. Okay, so it's this one. Whoops, now he's upside down. So it's that one. Okay, here he is here. Fire. Okay, so what does the fire one mean? Okay, this is Kainaz. The fire that lit the earth of homes. The fire symbol that conveys warmth, safety and comfort. Oh, that's a good sign. Also represents that the inner flame that is within us all and drives us to pursue our passions and dreams. This is going to be good. Three dot points. Okay, a positive ruin indicating protection and safety from current concerns. Now, wasn't this other one the same sort of reading? Yes. Problems may mitigate or ease. Yay, problems are starting to go away for a lot of people, guys. Also, a signal to pay attention to your inner voice or intuition to deal with the issue or to pursue a passion. Now, when we put these two both together, they actually do represent really good things. New things are coming. And so it's time to be grateful and to release our past. If you're replacing something, you know, I just replaced a blanket. I was so grateful for my old blanket. It's old, it's tattered, 
So I was grateful for it. I didn't throw it away. I now made it into Mary's bed on my bed so it's folded up nicely so Mary can sleep on it because it's got her smells on it, right? So we're grateful for what we've got, but we appreciate the new things coming in to replace those that are gone, okay? This is how we release our past. We appreciate and be grateful for things that are leaving. Thank you for the lesson that I learned. And if I haven't learned that lesson, please let me learn it. Okay? As we're all on a learning curve. Now, I've gone and dropped my tarot card. So I'll get this one out too now. This is a really cute little card. It's the Ten of Cups. I like this card. Look how, look at the beautiful picture. Ten of Cups. Now, let me just go over to my book to find out what this one means. Ten of Cups. Pentacles. Swords. Cups. Okay, what is he? The Ten of Cups. Okay, eight. Ten of Cups. So here it is. Now, it's funny because it's a house. So there it is. Okay, it's a, it's a house. And this is what it's all about now, guys. So when we look at house... It's not so much the walls and the bricks and the mortar that holds us together. It's the love and that comfort and the support that we create within the walls. Um, there's a huge difference between house and home. Okay. Are you living in a house or are you living in a home? This is now the time to create that harmony, to create that love, to create that comfort, support, security. Okay. So security is a big one. So let's go and read this one. The Ten of Cups is the ultimate card for the suit of love and happiness. Fire. And whatever he was. Where it all brings in good things coming. Okay. Okay. Rom um, this is the one you've been waiting for if you're a romantic. The perfect realisation of emotional love. When the Ten of Cups shows up in a reading, it represents happiness in one's home life, together with the promises of lasting success in a relationship. Relationships are not just with the opposite sex or a boyfriend, girlfriend. It's relationships with your pets, relationships with your neighbours, your co-workers, your family, your people that you even drive past on the street. You have a relationship with those because you're interacting with them. Okay, It symbolises commitment and contented love with permeance. This card frequently appears when marriage is in the cards. Now, what is a marriage? It is a commitment and loyalty. When we dedicate ourselves to someone or something else. So these cards today, guys, with regards to that Matrix movie that I just watched this morning, I'm going to say, we now know the truth. We're standing in our ground and now we're not concerned anymore with those naysayers who were saying we were idiots. Okay? Love would smile at every given opportunity as it spreads joy. We're now remembering that within us lies the secret to our own success. This time is the time to go out and make it happen. We've just had the full moon. We are in retrograde, so things do go cray cray. But at the end of the day, if we say to ourselves our affirmations and we say, you know what, this is where I'm going, this is what I'm doing, this is where my life is leading me to, then we create that, okay? Our words do create our reality. So guys, this week, it is a great one. We are winning this war. So whenever you have the opportunity to have an emotion towards somebody else, Think about which emotion that you want to share this week. Do you want to be the negative, down, lowered, vibrational type who sniggers, accuses, judges? Or do you want to be that person who's lifting other people up, encouraging, supporting, and most of all, loving others? This is the week to get out there and make every opportunity an opportunity to share love. Because this is ultimately what's winning our war. Alright guys, so if you like today's video, let me know below, like this, share it with your friends if you think that they want to hear it as well. Talk to you all soon. Bye.